feature presentation. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to actually install the Grunfoss 15-55HWR-T hot water circulation pump. Why is that a big deal? Because it can save you up to 12,000 gallons of water a year if you have a dedicated hot water return line. Now this is really cool because here's the pump and here's the temperature sensor. This is what's cool because this is what tells us when to kick on. This video is sponsored by Ferguson. We teamed up with Ferguson because of the great things they do for plumbers, for the community, and the things that they sell. We get the best product at Ferguson and we know it every single time. Go to ferguson.com and check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my union on and getting ready to get some measurements and install my pieces. All right, so I'm one of these guys. I like putting Teflon tape and pop dope on there. And I learned that from an engineer out at Texas Instruments. Bob Reynolds, if you're watching, I learned from you. Because I'm telling you, since we started doing this or since I started doing this, now remember out there we're dealing with big industrial pipes. I gotta tell you, since I started doing this, I don't know that I've had a leak. Now, I would probably normally put a wrench over here and have backup, but I know that I'm not gonna be running water through this. Okay, so I'm gonna come up just about three inches, put a T in. My return line's probably gonna be down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pieces like I would have a stub out up above it, like you would at a water heater. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a T out in the metal adapter. That way I can put my hot water circulation pump over here. Now one thing that I'm not gonna do today, if I was really installing this in a house, I would probably put standoff clamps here and actually secure the pipe. That way it doesn't move around. The, these pumps are heavy duty. They got a big motor in them to really make them move the water. But the good thing is when they kick and turn, power on and power off, you really don't want them to jump much. So I would make sure that I have standoff clamps there helping support. Okay, so first of all, we wanna make sure you get the fittings really clean, just like you would for any solder joint. And the pipe. Now we just want to use a little bit of flux. I'm going to clean off the brush. All I want is a very thin layer on here. And I'm going to put a very thin layer on the pipe too. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess flux. And get ready to burn it. Now we're gonna let this cool a second. Nice clean cut. And I know I'm gonna use this again, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready now. And now we're gonna let that cool down a little bit. I'll move down here. This will actually be the outlet piece coming out of my hot water recirculation pump. You know, make sure you get your fittings really good and clean and your pipe good and clean. 
it'll help you with solder joints. And I always take just a little extra time, make sure I get things nice and clean inside and outside. And one thing you wanna remember here, you don't wanna get yourself too blocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready to solder. And get it ready to put together. So you take your washer, slide it down in position. You want to make sure you do this before you put it together because if you don't, you're going to have a problem right here. You're not going to be able to get that nut on there. And you're also going to want to control your heat on this. You don't want to be too hot. Now, I know some people that put cold rags on it. I know some people that use cool gel on it. Me, I try to control my heat. So I saw how close it was and decided I want to go ahead and put wet rags on there. Now if I was out in the field, I'd have cloth rags. I'm here in the office, so I'll grab some paper towels, put around there that are wet. This is going to help keep that so it doesn't overheat and mess up that washer. And I'm still going to control my heat by starting at the other end first. All right, so we got it all built now. Now, you wanna make sure you remember to put the washer in. So I'm gonna put the washer right on top right there. And as you see, this will set right down on it. Now, I've seen people actually put Teflon tape and pop dope and stuff like that on these nuts. Guys, that's, you don't need that. That's what the washer's for. Now, I like to make sure that I turn it so that my screw stop is turned towards the outside. That way, anybody coming up to work on the pump, water heater, anything like that, understands that they can actually turn the water off to the water heater right here. Now, this is one thing that I like about the Grunfoss circulation pump. It actually has a built-in check valve. Now, this is neat because it also comes with the sticker that you can put on here to let people know that the check valve is installed. That way, you don't have to have a separate one. Now, you definitely want to do that because if you don't have a check valve in here and somebody opens the hot, it could draw cold water back through it and give them warm water instead of truly hot water. So you actually take the check valve and it sticks in just like that. Great piece of equipment. Make sure you get your washer again.
So now you see we got everything in. Now this line is not really tied in, but this would come down and go to your dedicated return line. So now we're gonna install the temperature sensor. And I gotta tell you, this is pretty cool. One of my favorite things about this is the wireless communication. There is no wiring. So literally we open up the cover. I'll pull the cover off. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna do two different things. Number one, I'm gonna pull the paper out. That way I activate the battery. So now it's touching. And as you see, we got Bluetooth connecting. Now, I'm gonna put this right around the pipe where I would want it. So the wireless temperature sensor is now right there on the pipe where you want it to be. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and plug it in. But the neat thing is, this is your timer. Now, you can set the timer to where it can come on at certain times of the day. Say you only take showers in the morning. Say you only take them in the afternoon, and that's your biggest concern. This is gonna be great. You can set it so that when you're home, when you know you're gonna be using hot water and where you're gonna be using it, you can have it circulating. That way you have hot water on demand right there where you need it. Now the other option is your temperature system can always keep water at a certain temperature. That way, like I said, you've got hot water right there on demand. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So remember, black dot right there, you wanna apply your thermal compound. That way it gets the heat transfer really well. Get it in position where you want it. Lock it down. And begin the pairing process. So I love the LED light indicators, letting you know when the pump's running and when alarms are going off. And as you saw during the installation, I love it because there's wireless connections. The Bluetooth connectivity makes it so easy. Remember the Grunfoss Alpha 15-55 HWRT is suitable for tankless and tank type water heaters. So when you want hot water on demand, and you've got a dedicated return line, this is a phenomenal system because it delivers hot water efficiently, eliminating the unnecessary weight while you waste water. This is something worth investing in. Remember, this video is sponsored by Ferguson.com. If you want to learn more about the Grunfoss 15-55 HWR-T, this is a cool system. Now, professional plumbers have been using Grunfoss for years, and this is just a system that they've updated and made even better easier to install, and it does more for you, the homeowner. And it does more for your customers because it allows them to save more money. This is a wonderful system and I love it. So if you wanna learn more about it, go check it out at ferguson.com. And if you're not a member of the Facebook group, go to Ferguson on Facebook, join the community, and see what all's going on. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.